Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. If you have ever dealt with asking large language models to review your code repos, which consist of numerous files, then you know that not only the cost could become an issue if your repo size is huge, but also you might encounter some of the throttling and latency related warnings and errors. That is where it makes really sense to try to mitigate this problem by providing these LLMs as much information as possible. I know that if you are using a local model, then this might not be an issue, but it's not easy to install huge models like 70 billion Lama or similar model like QWQ from Quen, which was just recently released. To um, It's very hard to install them locally, not in the sense technically, but due to the resource consumption and not everyone can do it. So for instance, if you have a huge code repository, which consists of a lot of files, you want the large language models to understand that code repo. One way is of course, is to just provide it all the whole repo to the model that could become quite costly. That is where this project, which is called as context by tries to help out. What it does is it reviews your code base and then it generates map of relationships between named entities in a code base in a JSON format, which is quite suitable for feeding into LLMs. And that is where it saves you around 75% to 85% in the context window, because LLMs are not really uh, going through your repo, understanding the relationship between your files and code. They already are aware of it through your context window. So they only focus their attention on the context which is needed. When we say context of large language models, what it means is that it refers to the relevant information and background knowledge that helps the model understand the meaning and relevance of the input data. It comprises of the relationship between words, phrases and ideas, as well as the nuances of the language such as uh, idioms, colloquism, and also in terms of code, the different syntax, different dependencies, the whole workflow within your code. And this context aware request to LLM not only saves you time, but also the cost. I already have done a similar project, uh, reviewed the similar project, which is context JS. So please search the channel. In this video, we are going to look at this context pi, which seems quite interesting to me because not only it is mapping the relationship and dependencies for clear analysis, it also focuses LLM on key code insights. It also reveals the architecture for smarter LLM insights. All you need to do is to install it. Then you provide it the path to the repo and then it creates a JSON format file, which you can feed into LLM. So let's get started and try to get it installed on our uh, local system. Let me take you to my terminal. So this is where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card in VDRTX RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. Let me first create a virtual environment and then we will install this context by over there. And now install some of the prerequisites, which are torch and transformers. And now let's git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. It's a very lightweight repo by the way, which is quite good. Let's install some of the um, packages which are required for the visualization and um, just in order to run the pillow and stuff. Let's wait for it. This is the last step in the installation. And that is also done. Now in order to run this, all you need to do is to run this uh, Python 3 context uh, pi.py from the root of the repo. And that is going to ask the uh, uh, path to your code repo, which you want to visualize or analyze. So I'm just going to provide it the path to this directory. And let me quickly show you this directory too. Let me quickly take you to my home. And then this is my code. 
in my pi code so this is just one file here test.py let's see how it performs there you go so it was able to identify only one file which is quite good yes i want to visualize it press y it is generating the visualization and there you go so this is the test.py and it says that it is it has following entities in it and then there is also some uh, information on the right hand side about files classes function modules and that sort of stuff and also the decorators which is quite good i believe and it has done the color coding around it okay so let me cancel this and now let's try out bit bigger repo so what i have done is i have just gone in i have git clone this olama dash python repo so i'm going to provide it this olama python so let me go here let me run this again and then i'm just going to provide it the total path to that directory hopefully let me quickly check what is the name olama dash python there you go so it has identified four files in that 39 classes and these many functions are there and have you noticed the speed of this this is quite interesting and then if you visualize it press yes it is generating the visualization there you go of course you can just you know uh, put it in some sort of uh, image software and then if you want to you can visualize it easily and if you want to check out the json file which is the actual purpose of this you can just go to the repo uh, and then this is a file python code knowledge graph if you open it in the text editor this is a file so you, all you need to do is to provide it to your llm and this sort of graph file from there llm would be able to see all the dependencies type of the file and what exactly is there so instead of llm going through api based or whatever there is going through your repo you already are providing it the whole context with all the dependencies and all that stuff so i believe not only this tool saves you cost but also the time it so because it is providing llm's detailed metadata for better suggestions and llm is getting structured context for better responses and this would enable these whatever llm you are using to explain and document the code easily so primarily as per the repo they say that we are supercharging llm understanding of python code base basis because it is generating these comprehensive knowledge graphs that help the llm navigate and comprehend your code structure with minimal token usage and that is the whole idea behind it so good stuff i hope uh, that uh, it might be useful for you in terms of saving cost let me know what do you think also as i said if you want to analyze the java code bases i have done the similar video which is called as context js which uh, you can check out i will also try to drop the link in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching